Welcome everyone. Today we have a high skilled Delta underlocking. This is with some of the high rank viewers today. And I believe this is Art is currently. What is his level? I don't know his ranking, but his level is like 120. At least 120 level with this start. And you might have seen one of our older videos against him. He is actually really good. Lots of other friends joining us today as well for the viewers game. For me in particular, I want to try Assassins, I want to try Mages. For the Mages, we're going to try Druid's Primordial Summoner Mage. And for the Assassins, we're going to try the good old six Assassins into the Dragons, you know, etc. Let's see how we go. Don't need this. Mm, oh, not much though. Oh, <laughs> game wonders to play Mages. Oh, we can give it a try. It's actually easier for Mages. Mm, we did lose the first round. Oh, let's see. Because I lost the first round, I probably won't put anything down. We'll have so many players going for loot, open fort actually. <laughs> He's going to sell anything. Lane's going to sell everything and get, get the open fort going. This is not good actually. <laughs> Why is it isn't good is we're going to clash. And when we clash, well, we're not going to get the losing streak. We're going to get a draw. <laughs> Didn't clash here. That's good. I think Mage is calling, guys. Mages are calling. Do we win first round and then sell for 10 gold? Yes, I do do that. That's if I don't need the units I have. I kind of want to keep the mages, so I actually kept them, but I should try to win the first round and sell everything. That's a good idea. I should remember to do that. Because if you lose, you don't lose anything. If you win, you can actually sell everything. You can sell those two. Very nice. Pymodios. So, a friend back there had... He didn't go for Tiny, he had Razor, Arc Warden, Isle, and also Morphling. Very interesting. We'll try that. <laughs> this is that, and there's a Legion build? Maybe, maybe. Let's have a look. No, he's going for Mages too, by the looks of it. I'm way than my Not bad. <laughs> so. With the Summoner Primordial Mage, we're going for four Primordials with Arc Warden, Razor, Morphling, and Io. Followed by that, we're going to go with the Lone Druid with the combo to get the summoning scene with Arc Warden. So this way, the Primordials are actually hit for 120 per pop. And we're going to go for six Mages with that. Oh, not bad of a start, I have to say. We're going to get the whole basket, everything here. Enigma give us the Pymodial combo too. Not going for a two-star Enigma though. Hey Joe, good to see you buddy. Steamer drove my lobby with losing streak and LC granted you turn the three. That's alright. You do practice that. It's actually very, very rewarding if you get it working. Or oh, face Ling, that's okay. I was expecting a draw anyways. Uh do I get an Enigma? Nah, we don't get an Enigma, right? Yeah, we don't get an Enigma. Why didn't I get Enigma? Is that if I got Enigma, it wouldn't be blacklisted. I want it to be blacklisted so I can have a chance of getting the units I wanted. <laughs> and I didn't get those. So in the end, it's a small loss. Because I don't plan for two-star Enigma. It's okay. We we'll might find him again. Pack Vanguard. Vanguard's actually pretty good. I don't think I'd be lucky enough to get a cloak, so I actually go for the Vanguard here. And Magic Boots, you know, the Mana Boots is not bad. Oh, two gold shot. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Okay, so very weak mage. Unless he's a two star, we don't usually need him. This is that's going for one crystal maiden. <laughs> oh my, we're gonna be clashing with mages big time. Don't think I need to put anything down for that. It's good to stay at level three, we get 30 gold. It's just a personal personal choice, I guess. For me, I really like the gold for mages, because mages are very expensive. You want to be level 9, you want to have lots of good units, and to do so, you need lots of gold. There's no need to go to upper level anytime soon, because if you win, you don't get much out of it. You lose less HP, yes, but it's only 2 or 4 HP. Maybe 5 sometimes. Now, we did break Art's losing streak. For some reason, he had a Crystal Maiden down. That's interesting. Now, because of that, he should be a little delayed on economy. He's slightly higher than me. But I will be getting lots of economy here. Look at this, we got a 30 gold. <laughs> Ogre's sacrifice was not in vain. 
I want one more primordial. So, is it nice to roll here or level up then roll? I think it's better to level up then roll. I don't need my tier 1 units that badly. Should we put in some units now very soon? I'm just like, level up then roll then roll. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? So why there's a level up then roll is we get tier 4 rates for higher tier 3 unit. We want the Morphling, and is that all we wanted? <laughs> we want Io as well. Morphling Io. Tiny is going to be changed for Morphling, and we'll get Io in for the Primordials. <laughs> Change my display a little bit. <laughs> the whole setup. Yeah, here we'll have our first Limra. Still double checking. We did face Ling last time. Should I try to minimize my loss? Very, very greedy though. Give it a try. I'm gonna have some units now. I don't think I faced Ling and this is hard because we already faced him again. So we're gonna face other players and this is why I can put some units now. <laughs> to try to lose less. I don't know if I kill the Chaos Knight though. This Warlock's gonna heal him. <laughs> no, don't heal him. Oh, we killed kill something. Yes, we killed the one. We might kill one more. If Crystal Maiden survives, we can kill one more. Can she? Good girl. Lucky, lucky. That's two less HP lost. Why I I'm planning to go Laundred as a summoner. That's right, Laundred and the Aqua and summoners. I was it. Perfect. I didn't win, right? Yes, I didn't win. <laughs> Good. I was like, <laughs> I hope I didn't win. Uh, I'm still on 80 HP. Oh gosh, so much HP. <laughs> it's so awkward. It's a small gamble, but you know, we want to lose less. I'll be leveling up as well. Oh, I found Ling. I thought I faced Ling earlier. <laughs> Damn. We're gonna. Why well, maybe I lose against Ling? It's hard to say. It's got two star units. <laughs> nah, we win against Ling. We have too much stun. Tiny and the whole combo. That's okay. I got my economy in, and I already have lots of two stars. I should be fine. I was hoping to lose one or two more there, to be honest. Ah, what a tank. Ooh, Pike is not great. Ah, uh, Vanguard, Vanguard. I mean, we can kind of use the Vanguard. Let's go for a major item. Oh, that's not a major item. Let's go for Target Buddy. <laughs> Good little buddy. Okay. So I want to get the Primordials in first, I think. So we'll get all the Primordials in first. I don't think Tiny needs a Vanguard. Aqua wouldn't have having Vanguard at the start is actually not okay. Now our goal is to level up quickly for the long trade. And that'll be the clutch. Target Buddy only has 1.2k HP. Leave Target Buddy alone. Oh gosh, I will die so fast. Aqua is in the front line, so he takes some damage and summons fast. <laughs> That's the plan. Because we won't want to keep winning. Having the four power modules will be my cornerstone of winning. Of strength, that is. Level up again. Yeah, four power modules is better than three mages for now. But we'll get a mages here anyways. Is it Morphling? Should board the... Shook boy the train. Oh, I didn't get the good Hogan. I got the bad Hogan. <laughs> Not good. I still take the Hogan. I was hoping for the Mage Hogan, and that's the one we wanted, but we didn't get that. So we don't get friendly fire. Oh, we got the laundry though. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> there are things in life. How good is the laundry? The laundry is good. But is he that good? I'm thinking if he's that good to swap out of him. Nah, there's no need, right? Yeah, I don't have a big win streak. We'll buy him after. I don't want to break the economy. Go tiny. This is hard. <laughs> this is hard. It's like, it's hard. Does he have the Hogan? He has the right Hogan, guys. <laughs> he's got the correct Hogan. It's kind of okay for attack speed because we do benefit with the whole team for attack speed as well. But it's much better if you get the friendly fire Hogan. At least in my opinion for the late game. Right now, both Hogans are kind of okay. 
I'm probably having my wing here. Because <laughs> he's got. And he's got two stuff on me too. Got Aqua and a little dude. We should win. Oh, the lining. No. Oh, he missed the lining. We got him. <laughs> the real one's still alive. <laughs> when you kill, you get two more. Should be okay. Don't draw, right? Don't draw. It's so close. <laughs> Looks so close. Gonna get the laundry in over the stone. Kind of making the attack speed more useful like this. Don't need Enigma. Maybe better. Hard to say though. Enigma may be giving us a little more here. Tiny is a good stun, but he's not a two star. So waiting for any time when Tiny's two star, we can still use him. We're trying to dive up in two rounds. Enigma is not bad, but he's a little slow. He's pretty slow to cast as a tier 1 unit though. I will, did I will revive? No, I was too slow. Funny enough, the Hogan actually helps us with the little dudes. <laughs> All the dudes here have attack speed. If the Hogan cast. Do they? Uh, entire crew gets 35 attack speed. Should be the entire crew. Oh, yeah, the slow for AoE, that's right. It comes straight down the slow. Tiny's not bad as well, though. Both are pretty good. How can I level up this round? Uh, three star crystal made is too far, way too far. <laughs> we'll get the mages in. Two star race is pretty good. I thought it's like a semi tank burst. Because if he dies and he summons, we get more primordial friends. I want to see if Hogan buff the primordials. If he buff them, it's really good. If he doesn't, it's not good. The Hogan tank, not Hogan, the Aquadent tanks first. Now let's check primordials. I don't have any primordials. Damn. <laughs> the bear did get a tax speed boost. That means the bear gets buffed. Oh, the primordial did get buffed. That's good. This one stuns them as well. Not bad. Let's level up. Now, because I broke my win streak very early, we actually have a very healthy HP. It won't do much though. <laughs> it, hit, it takes one extra hit off us. Because now you lose at least 10 HP, or, you know, sometimes 12. Am I planning to keep Ogre? Uh, it's an interesting one actually. Mouse Room is actually not bad. Decent damage, and we do lack source of damage. We're going to take the Mouse Room. We're just going to take it. Yeah. Oh, and it's long shot. Very good. Let's take them out. I kind of want to give the... Yeah, I'll still give this to the Razor. Most drawn to the Crystal Maiden. She's the one that can survive the longest. So probably better with the... Probably better on Arc Warden. Or we'll change items around. Yeah, the Ogre is not ready to buff our units, but rather to give us six mages, which is going to be a long time away. Too long. Razor, one job. <laughs> Give us AoE. <laughs> this plastic is not moving. Well, what happened to him? Is he just treadmilling? <laughs> He's on a treadmill. He's killing us. <laughs> Literally killing us. <laughs> no, he killed us all. <laughs> I can't deal with the plastic because even when he treadmilled for a while, <laughs> Nick still got us. Well played, Nick. <laughs> he literally went to a treadmill. Yeah, double plastic is. He doesn't have a cap, but still very strong for now. Uh, let's throw once. Oh, beautiful. That's good. So, Maelstrom goes here. Very lovely. Not bad, not bad. Enigma's gone. <laughs> we don't use Enigma anymore. So, this also gives us the summoners too. Very good. Now, Tiny does have the, the Vanguard that tanks first. Later, Storm of, you know, someone else can take it, but now it's really good. Also guarantees the two-star druids. We just got a big power spike here. And the attack speed is actually not bad. Did you get a tiny? No, we got a poor tiny. He's in the corner. Having IO means the enemy takes more damage. And this actually offsets the weakness of mages in the mid-game. If you get a laundry and tiny. And the IO, of course. IO is the easy one because no one buys IO. People do love laundry. Let's see how many launchers it's taken. 
Nope, no one likes long jet. <laughs> I was wrong. Uh, I don't really need a two star, okay. Always roll at level 8 for mages if you can, or level 9. This is for the higher keep of the light rate and also lich. And also everything else we're looking for. <laughs> Launch is so good, right? How is that doing? That is doing something very similar. He's going for Pymonium Mages too. But we found the Druid so much earlier. I think Druid is a big change factor for the Mages. <laughs> Where physical damage attacks the Mages. I always stay on 30 gold. Absolutely, Bruno. You always want to stay on 30 gold. This maximizes your income. And this is a strategy to win in the late game. Look at the powerful summons, guys. 120 per pop with additional attack speed. <laughs> we found a summon a mage build. And 7-7 seven, seven now. So if you look at my net worth, other than Nick, I'm actually pretty high in net worth. Lane's pretty nicely. He's doing the losing streak at the start. We're pretty level here. This means we got to 30 gold again next round. Also got higher rates. <laughs> hey there, Kaya. Thank you, thank you so much for the subscribe, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Hey there, Doomsday. Thank you so much for the six month, buddy. Hey, Matt. Welcome, welcome, buddy. Thank you so much for your support. So should I not roll under 30 gold after the round start? You can still do that, but just calculate how much gold you get next round. You can roll down to 20. You still get at least 10 gold next round. That's a good thing. Oh, my Hogan, though. He can't die. That's a good start on the Hogan. How do actually stuns for 1.5 seconds? Can we kill the plastic as we root to the wine? We can kill this one too. We can take refreshers. A lot of refreshers here. <laughs> it was actually a really strong summoner mage. <laughs> With attack speed on the Arc Warden, he's actually very fast in attack speed. Look at this 0.45. And also, he's got Maelstrom. I got the eye onto Arc Warden, so this will guarantee we get the best benefit. Oof, Mooshad. Oh damn, I can't use Mooshad though. It's a really high row here. Can I give Mooshad to Lundred? Not a big one though. Let's throw once. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's a really rare times you find a tier 4 item, but if you do, it's really good. Like this one. Who's gonna take it though? Crystal Maiden? Lundred? Stone? Double Lundred? Double Druid! How can attack speed also buffs everyone? We checked. He actually buffs everyone that's on the board. Not the new summons, but the older ones. I don't think I go for those. 3 star IO is very expensive though. I don't know if I go for that. But double launcher is not bad. <laughs> Look at this arc button. It's gonna get more attack speed with Hogan cast. He's dying though. <laughs> he got 0.65 now, then he died. <laughs> One moment of glory. Look at his Eidolons. They are plus 20, plus 0.36. Arc 1 is still number 1 damage with Maelstrom. <laughs> his little dudes are still alive. Not bad for the summoner mage. Very good for the mid game. Don't need anything for that. I'm actually aiming for level 9 to be rolling. And we'll keep doing that. Mm, level 9. I need my keep of the light, I also need Lich. I can remove my Lundred. I can actually level up here. Yeah, we'll do that. So why is that? Is I can sell the Isle, sell the Ogre, sell the Chris Manning. If I win here, I'll level up. Because I don't need the Arc Warden as well. Because I can spend 40 gold, I still get back to my 30 gold next round. We'll level up. Downside is, if I find something that's really good, I can't buy it and stay on top gold. That's the only downside. Oh my. <laughs> Those hooks are so powerful. They hook my arc button. <laughs> I was like, where's my friend? So the dudes here, <laughs> the little dudes here, are actually my main source of damage. They Look at the six of them hits for like, what? 600 damage. Now five of them, five of them hits for 600 damage. At one attack per second. So we should get 11 gold here. I actually need more because I'll have a win streak. 12 gold. No, more than 12. Yep. Got more gold. Lovely. Yeah, no bad talking after all. I do agree. For this one, I think the tiny is still better than the Morphling for now. 
I'm just gonna get one Aqua Warden done, no particular reason. Just because he's a summoner, he also gets us Primordials, it's not bad. I'm gonna give this to him, because Longjord will get the cast off. He should get more cast off <laughs> to get more value. One duplication means there's one more Primordial. Oh my! <laughs> it's Phoenix, he's going for dragons and brownies. A big counter to us if he starts feeding on us. Because if he gets the kills, you know, he gets more kills. And we're like a buffet for him. But if Buffet fights back, <laughs> we can still do this. The Buffet is fighting back. Morphling do more damage than Storm? Yes, I should actually do that. I should swap Storm with Morphling. Great idea. Oh gosh, that Juggernaut is feeding us. <laughs> Stop it, Juggernaut. <laughs> no, they ate all the Buffet guys. How many kills did he get? <laughs> He got 5 kills, 3, 3. Oh gosh, what have I done? <laughs> I feed him a bunch of kills. <laughs> 12 kills by fact. <laughs> so much kills fed. Now I can start rolling. Ah, uh, Tide Hunter. I kind of like the Tide Hunter, but we don't use him on this build. I can buy him for now. He says Void. I remember a friend using Void before. I should get a Void in. I'll get avoided. Taddy's nice though. Taddy's pretty nice. Aqua is too far on 3 star. So Void has one job. <laughs> if he gets the job in, he got the job in. Perfect. Notice we haven't found the Disruptor yet. Not the Disruptor. <laughs> the Disruptor is the counter. We haven't found the Keeper of the Light yet. Once we get Keeper, we should be much stronger. Thank you so much for the subscribe, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Hey there, dearest. Thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Thank you, thank you so much for the support, my friend. Welcome, welcome. We're doing quite nicely, and with Phoenix, oh, how much kill does Phoenix have? If he's sitting on no alliance, he's got this many kills. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he's on 99 kills, 3k HP. <laughs> oh, no. We're taking the Vatimir. It helps the whole team. The, the mana gain is also good, but I think Vatimir may be the best one first. We'll be rolling. There's a VS game after this. I'm not sure about the timing, but we'll have a look. Give me a moment. I'll have a look. And there's a laundry. Yeah. <laughs> a little awkward there. I'll buy the ogre. 99 kills on round 21. Well, I know, it's incredible, right? <laughs> it's too much. So this way we got two 2 star laundry instead of a 3 star eye or maybe something else. I'll be looking forward to leveling up now. Because I have one less mage. <laughs> Void! <laughs> Tiny's like, why you do that, bro? <laughs> we don't have keeper. No keeper by round 31 here. Double laundry, double bear. Them bears are no joke, especially with attack speed. Because they hit for like, what? <laughs> 300 plus. This is when the summoner mage actually shines. So, to those you have not played yet, so why not, Matt? Uh, says Kyle, uh, what do you mean? Did I miss a question? I'm not sure if I understood the message time. And this storm's good. We keep rolling at level 9. Uh, I was not great. Tight down there, we can't feel him. Uh, let's see. I don't really want to lose the tiny, we'll lose the morphling for now. Nah, Void doesn't need one, Void is fine, right? <laughs> Void is okay, we're going for a level up soon. No point in staying at level 9, we'll go for level up. I just want to rock for the keeper to be honest, but leveling up is okay. Pretty good. So there's a viewers game, oh, let's see, let's see. I did plan for something earlier, but we might have time for another viewers game. My throat is about to die though. Let's go for an interview game after this one. It should be okay. But if my throat gets too tight, I might take tomorrow off. We shall see. Hey there, Inos. Good to see you, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we can go for one more. I'll just get some water after. We're holding out pretty nicely, and because we're holding out, likely we're gonna face Felix in the end. Oof, I am not gonna be ready for him. Especially without the Keeper of the Light. 
That is, this is not doing, this is not also got, oh, triple, triple six disruptors. Damn, man. <laughs> He's a mage counter. I don't want to face hard. I'm gonna put one, actually, nah, uh, he should come back. I'm scared to face hard because if he catch me, he catch the whole basket. Void, one job, Void. No, don't catch the storm. Oh, we caught the storm and he died. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> not good at all. Yeah, the hunters here, if he gets up a hand like this, and especially my vicious Void failed, it's actually terrible for us. Yeah, we just crumble. In pieces. Good thing is Link's out of HP. Someone might take him for me. 45 gold. So expensive. 22 to go. Or 25 to go. And there's Arc Warden. It's too late. Should have... I don't need the Ogre, by the way. I was going to say, I should have figured out first, then level up. Want to lose the tiny, lose the laundry. You mean the coughing? Yeah, the coughing is that I had an allergic reaction earlier during my other place of staying with a little pet and that stayed with me for so long so my throat is actually a little irritated when I speak for too long. That's one of the reasons I haven't been able to stream for over 3 or 4 hours. I used to be able to stream 5 hours of plants and even higher. Is that my void? No, it's his void. <laughs> I was like, whose void was that? Damn, we might be able to do this. This be not close at all. <laughs> Templar too strong. Can we go to Templar? It's a two-star Templar, too strong. <laughs> Nickwiz Assassins. Oh gosh. <laughs> at least we're top five. And we had enough HP buffer for sustainability, but we're gonna love up now. I'm not gonna wait. Oh, hey, are those summons? Are we gonna give it a try? <laughs> are we gonna give it a try, guys? I wonder if those are summons. Yeah, they had some really good tier 5s. Oh, look at that. We found it. We found him, guys. Gandalf. <laughs> oh, great Gandalf is here. We found him, we found him. Look okay. Should I use my free roll here? Have you seen Nick's come before? I have seen his... Actually, no, I haven't seen his come before. <laughs> I need to double check. <laughs> Looks pretty interesting. Oh, look at that catch. Beautiful. Disruptor missed. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> My Hogan also got a stun off. <laughs> we had the upper hand against Art here. We got really lucky here. <laughs> oh, look at the zombie. Zombie's buffed by damage. Look at that. He is actually buffed as a summon unit. We did it! <laughs> I have 5 mages. Oh, I do, right? Why is that? Very strange. Yeah, I take Tiny out. Oh, I didn't have the Lich, that's right. Yeah, I didn't have the Lich. Absolutely. I thought I had the Lich here. Ah, poor Tiny. Served me really well. Let's roll down to 20. Good. No keeper? Watch out. I'm keeping the tide. I might use the tide here. Over the faces for it. Looking for Lich now. So the zombie is actually summon unit. That's actually really good to know. I should put the ogre there so he dies. Then he becomes a zombie. Oh, the poor keeper. Died so fast. Ayo, revive the keeper. We might get the keeper back, guys. Ayo, come back with a storm. Not bad. <laughs> I'll take it. We don't have good AoE against him though. Yeah, not enough damage. Damn. Hogan? Why are you hitting the barricade, Hogan? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why, Hogan? 37, 35, 27, and 51. Oh, jeez. Ah, Tide Hunter. Lich, perfect. I want to protect my units, but it's really hard to protect them though. Uh, I'm gonna chill here. I probably should have rolled one more. 
Actually, yeah, I should have brought one more. It's hard to protect them because of assassin that goes for the back line. Need to keep a two star. Absolutely, that's right. Oh, it's a baby one. <laughs> it's so scary. Last time I we'll have a good catch against him. Let's see if we can get one more again. I keep a casted. He missed the storm. That's great. <laughs> this also casted. Can my summons do it? <laughs> Always gets the summons. <laughs> I will revive the faceless void here. That's not the best idea, actually. No, no, I was not gonna make it. <laughs> Zombies did not work. Warlocks to OP. I will come to it. Let's roll for the keeper. I'll lose at least seven here, I think. Yeah, nine actually. Damn. <laughs> Let's roll. Right down there, we can find you, right? Oof, double. Uh, of course you need my aid. Got the road deep. Okay then, no tide. <laughs> I'm rolling a little deeper, I won't find the keeper. <laughs> that moment keeper is worth more than the lich. <laughs> oh my. I should put our cord in this more forward. Yeah, that moment the keeper of light's better. The Lich is stuck. Lich shouldn't be there. The keeper should be there now. The Lich is not good. The Lich is not well positioned here. Yeah. Oh gosh, the sil silence. He is so tanky. Gandalf, can you do it? Oh my gosh, the axe is on 8.7k HP, guys. <laughs> Don't kill me, Nick. No, it's not Nick, it's Phoenix. <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs> oh no, are we gonna die? No, my beautiful summoners mage. Oh, 19 of trees. <laughs> so close, guys. <laughs> Let's watch the end. So you can see the summoner mage is not bad here. And if I had the two star keeper earlier, I wouldn't have lost so much. But unfortunately, I was contest with his heart here. And he managed to get the keeper earlier before Nemi. <laughs> He's going for three star disrupt there. <laughs> And as item choices, I couldn't get the refresher. I think if I had a refresher here on the mage, it would have been much better. Refresher Laundred, refresher with, you know, the even Lich, two star with refresher, refresher Faces Void, the refresher Tide, we'll be doing a lot. So this is another variation. It's a Warlock variation. It's actually pretty good because Shadow Thing does decent magic damage. Art also had a pipe against me. Oh my. Double Disruptor, so good. It's missing one razor too. Art is all in. I wonder if Art can take this mighty brownie. <laughs> Let's check Phoenix damage and HP after. <laughs> that disrupted by so fast. Oh, that hook though. And that hook. <laughs> Art is actually fully countered here by three things. Art is gone. It's like a perfect combination of kills. I'm, I'm so shocked. <laughs> so, Cosmo here just. Just comboed him to perfection. He killed him before the refresher disruptor. He arrowed the disruptor. He had void in the background. And also he hooked the keep off the light. What a combo with Cosmo. <laughs> well played, well played. Let's go, Phoenix. Phoenix is sitting on only more. Wow. <laughs> Phoenix is like, where are you at, but guys? You are buffet for me. Cuts off the primordial and summons from me and Art and everyone else. Phoenix just been feeding on us. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally munching ours. <laughs> hey there, Nex. Good to see you, buddy. Who do we want to look at? We want to look at Axe. <laughs> 183. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jeez. The Axe is down 12k HP. Oh my gosh. <laughs> axe God is here. <laughs> Maybe the Hunters can still do it. Does he have Void? If he's got Void, he can still do it. I don't know though, because they're so beefy. <laughs> Snapfire is on 6.4k HP. I think he might have Void, but he doesn't have the frontline for it. He does have Void. Not enough. 6 Hunter, Vigilant Void, but there's not enough stones and tank. What does Cosmo need? I... I don't know. <laughs> Cosmo needs a 2 star Tide. He does have a 2 star Tide. He's Medusa Cadence. Oh, he leveled up. Perfect. So... Refresher Tide, Refresher Tide, you can do it. <laughs> refresher Tide, my friend. Don't forget the Tide. Yes, he's got the Refresher Tide. Hey, can he do this? 
Oh, the music's epic. <laughs> Look at this. Who is Fiddick? Fiddick is, is the brownie player with <laughs> massive, massive amount of kills. That tide was so clutch here. He needed one cast. Got two. So I think this might be enough time for him to proc enough of the void procs to kill the brownies. Might not be enough though. Anyone can beat the brownies, it has to be Cosmo here with his build. He got it. He got X. He did it. Better looking. <laughs> oh. The Dungate takes the stronger the brownies, yes, but at the same time, Cosmo may be able to find a two star void. He soon got a spot for the summon. <laughs> he stole the axe, I know. Now, he might want to take units one step back. Cause actually, the, the position is okay. Because the Tide needs to cast before his enemy disruptor cast. That's going to be the biggest factor. The Tide has to cast. Cosmo has actually got the perfect combo for this awesome, awesome Brownie. <laughs> Let's look at Brownie on his side. Oh, two, 6,000 HP, by the way. 6,000 HP. Oh, that's a double Tide. And Medusa follows up too. 6,000 HP. I've never seen this high brownie actually. <laughs> but he's getting hunted. Look at that. That's why I love hunters, guys. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Let's look at damage. I can't see damage. I can't see damage. I'm stuck on kills for some reason. <laughs> Damn, I can't see damage. No, I wish I could see damage. <laughs> oh, both of them got a refresher. <laughs> refresher to start void. Refresher, Disruptor, Double Disruptor. Now what Felix needs to do is just have his Disruptors in the front because the other units are giving the Tide Hunter too much mana. If Disruptors in the front by themselves, they should be able to kind of cast quicker to stop the Tide from casting. I think that's a good idea. Oh, he's doing it. Let's see if he makes it here. Because he was getting too caught up by the Tide. This way, if the Tide catches, he can only catch the front line. How to play brownies in the early game, you do need two star brownies, you go with brownie dragons if you can with the... Oh, let's see who cast. Oh, he caught the tide. That's exactly what I was thinking. He catches the tide. Tide still casted. Tide survived for two casts. And the face void is in there. Damn. What a close fight. He got the axe. It's the demon axe. GG, GG, indeed. Felix did it really well here. I think the only thing is the Disruptor kind of overlaid this storm. If the Tide didn't stun, maybe he could have done a little better. But because the Disruptor overlaid the storm, they couldn't get all four of the storm in a good timing. And then the enemy Medusa and Tide Hunter followed up with multiple stuns. And the Faceless Void had two stuns in the background as well. GG well played. What a game. <laughs> Incredible game comeback by Cosmo here. Let me show you both of their builds. So Cosmo had the Vigilant, Hunters and Void with the perfect stunning combo with Medusa, Tide Hunter, and also Minus Armor. He also has two Refresher and also the Crown on the Template. So this is the ultimate combo for Hunters if you can get it. You don't need a Waiver, you can go for something else here because he's not going for Insects. So other than the Waiver, you can go for the melee units like Terrorblade or, Ac or the Beastmaster. But the Waiver actually procs more of the Void procs because of the attack speed. And over here we had the brownies with dragons at the start. Then he built into warlocks, he built into hardness and brutes. Thank you, thank you so much for the subscribe, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the gift, Cosmos. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much for the gift, Nick, to the Cosmos. GG, well played. I know, what a game, right? What a well played. Very well played by Phoenix and also Cosmos. Phoenix had 210 HP, uh, 210 kills, 6.3k HP. So it's almost no way for any other build to beat him except Void, Hunters, and also the whole stun team. Notice that without the Tide Hunter, he was not getting stunned. He was overpowering the Hunters because they didn't have a frontline. With the Tide Hunter and the Refresher, it's a massive changeover. Well played, well played, guys. That's why we love Vios game. What a, what a hectic game, I have to say. Lovely, lovely. We'll try something else next time, and maybe we'll try to make assistance work. But knowing how strong the viewers are, we're going to have a challenge next one. <laughs> Thank you for watching this one, guys.